Good morning. Just enjoying the last view here in uh, Seljuk. Wish I could spend more time here, but unfortunately it, we have to move on. And that is three hours east to Pumakali, which translates to Cotton Castle. And it's supposed to be one of the more picturesque areas of uh, Turkey. So yeah, looking forward to that. This is the main street, okay? It follows all the way down. Do you see the cypress trees far away? There's a spa, beautiful spas with thermal pools and all these. But if you look around you, we are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why did they build it here? Except spas. You need water, you need food. All those fields you just see down there below, mm -hmm. most of them are cotton fields. We're closely approaching the hot thermal pools and I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the most anticipated moments of this trip so far. Oh, it's so warm. Careful, careful. I should probably focus on my steps and not be holding a camera because this is very slippery. All right, I'm going in. It's like no bath water. I joined this gentleman. How are you, sir? Woo. <sighs> Feels good. Yes, yes. Great. Body temperature. I feel like a swimsuit model. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't even look real. It, it looks like a glacier, but this is actually calcium buildup on natural limestone. And because this place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, you're not allowed to walk with shoes on. You have to walk completely barefoot to preserve this pristine, beautiful place. It's truly one of the most unique places I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, I'm here with Muruvet. She's from Turkey. Hey. Say hello. Hello. She's gonna help me take some photos because now we've beaten some of the traffic. Sunset, golden hour, and this has been the end of a beautiful, beautiful day.